Love is very expensive. This is why we don't do it. This is why we stay on the theory of love. It's very, very expensive. The standard for love is so high, it is hard for any human being to reach it. You need Jesus. You need God to do the love. You need Jesus, you need his grace. Do not water down the love to your comfortable love. Love is never comfortable if it is it's human love. In other words, you slap me this way, and then instead of me turning the other cheek, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to avoid you. I switch to my comfort. I'm going to now avoid you. You know what? I'm going to now leave you. I'm not going to be in your circle anymore. Yeah, so I'm going to protect myself from you so that you don't hurt me anymore. Comfortable love. That's not what Jesus said. Jesus knew that Judas was hurting him, but he had Judas close to him, even gave him the post to hold. He knew that that's the guy that's going to kill him and he still gave him food to eat. Still encouraged him to go and do that thing you want to do. And yet, we want to love easy love. Easy love is not Christ's love. Love is very what? Expensive. It will cost you what you love the most. It's not going to come for that which you are fine with easily. It's usually the way God does it. He always goes for that <laughs> juggler. <laughs> that area you say, you know what? Never, 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 never will this happen. Never, ever, ever will this happen. God will come for that one. This is a good time to share this. <laughs> Testimony. <laughs> this morning, my wife walked down. <laughs> Now, let me just, hey, Pastor Amy shared last week how that she believes that animals should be in the zoo. In other words, she's not that keen on animals, dogs. Anyway, and God is changing her heart and leading her by the Spirit. But anyway, if Pastor Amy thinks dogs should be in the zoo, my wife thinks dogs should not exist at all. <laughs> they should stay in heaven, that she will meet them in heaven. You should see my wife when we go to friend's house and there's a dog. She doesn't, doesn't like a dog. You know what funny thing? <laughs> so she's made a decision. Never will a dog step into this house. Not even for a day to sleep over. Nothing like that. My daughter will beg, please, please, please. Can we have a dog? I said, never. And I was in support anyway, not because I'm kind of that crazy, sorry. <laughs> kind of not determined about never having a dog like her. But I am. In support, I'm not too much, uh, much of a dog lover. But anyway, Pastor Amy, asked, uh, they are going away and they asked my wife, can you guys keep this dog for us? And of course, they say flat out, no. It's just uh, almost like, I think Amy asking was just a joke because she knew she wasn't going to get any answer. So guess what happened this morning, friends? I was just there writing my message, this message that God put in my heart to share. And my wife comes and say, and pulled out on the door, I opened the door and she said, and you could see her face. With tears in her eyes, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand God sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you believe what God is asking me to do? <laughs> Guess what God said to her? Go and get that dog. Take that dog for Amy. Keep that dog. Protect that dog. Friends, love is very expensive. Now, there's lots of ways I can explain this. It's the love that she has for God. Those whom let me see if I can say it again. The person who loves God is the one he recognizes. God knows that Cheesy loves her, loves him. And he will not allow Cheesy to settle on comfortable love for him. No, sometimes he will ask you to do that which will cost you the most. He did it with Moses, Abraham. 
He said to Abraham, that child, which child? That one. You remember that one we've been waiting for? We waited for 100 years, 99 years for it to come. We prayed and prayed and trusted, cried and even went into another woman, had children from another, another way, did all kinds of odd things. That one is the one I want you to go and kill for me. And God came to the point where he said, now I know that you trust me. Praise God. Love is what? Very expensive.